Wedges, the thing about wedges is how do you take it away from the ball? The problem with most wedge players is they get too abrupt with the club going back. In other words, they want to set it too quick, which means now they're, they're coming down into the ball too steep. Mm -hmm. That's why they take big divots. Exactly. Or they hit behind the ball yeah. or blade it. Yeah. You understand? So all you have to do is take the club back. You lift the club, actually. You don't cock it. You actually lift it. You know what? Google uh, St Steve Stricker up, and he does it perfectly. When he takes the club back, let me show you. When he takes the club back, and you watch him, he will take the club and he goes this way. You see that? See how he lifted it? And most wedge players will get here and they go, you see, and they come. Now, here's the two things that can happen. That can happen. When you go back abruptly, you have all, now you've changed the loft on this club. What loft you started with, whether it was open or closed or whatever, it's not there anymore. Now you've got to bring that club, and in the motion, you've got to bring that wedge back to that loft, which is going to be very difficult and to do. And you change the bounce. Too. And you change the bounce. You understand what I'm saying? When you go back like Stricker, you have maintained the loft that you wanted. So if you wanted to go, if you wanted to go there, or you wanted to go there, you've held the loft. You understand? All those two shots, the difference, if you notice, they were the same speed. Takeaway was about the same distance. The only difference is one club was open and the other one was not. Now, right, Daniel, Daniel, go ahead. Come on. Let's see what you got. Take it, lift it up a little bit. Yeah, a little bit inside there. You see how much higher he goes? Uh-huh, because he's, he's more inside than I am. I think he hit that inside of you. I too. think he did, too. Yeah. One more. But this is, this is exactly what we're trying to do. You see, on that shot there, go ahead, I'm, I'm going to grab, grab the club. I want him to lift the club. No, no, don't, don't. Look. I want him to lift the club. Just lift up here and then make it here. Now, Daniel gets in trouble a lot of times because he goes here, and when he gets here, his hand does this. You see that? It goes this way. And, and, and instead of staying inside... But that's because he goes too far back inside. It's why the hands want to reel out. And that's why I want him to pick the club up and just bring it across. Hit another one, son. So what would be what would be your number one tip for the average player who's struggling with his wedge? What would other other than practice a little bit well, more, you, which you, is you, obvious. You do have to practice. Yeah. But yeah. my tip to you is that you have to have someone watch you. Because you can't see yourself. Uh, one of the things that I never had my, my sling filmed, but in my day they didn't have all that stuff, as you well yeah. know. Uh, not that I wanted it, because I knew that I've seen it before on those reels, and it didn't look too good. But anyway, have someone film this or have someone with you when you're trying to do this. And tell them what you're trying to do. And, and tell your pro and go out there on the driving range and see if you can take that club either down, lift it, just just lift it up. And when you get belt high, this should be in a straight line. You see this? Let me show you here. I've always said this. Good back swing if you can't touch the head. Bad back swing if you can touch it. <laughs>